What we have here is baby centipede, I mean millipedes. Look at them. That's what baby millipedes look like. Look at them. I thought they were maggots at first. I'm not even going to lie. I thought they were maggots. But these are baby millipedes. Baby millipedes. And they are so cute. Hold on, I got one over here too. Let me see if I can find them. You like right on the edge of this. Right on the edge. Right there, I think that's a, Let me see. See, yeah, that's a good shot. See your antennae? Baby centipede. Look at them. I mean, millipede. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep saying centipede. These are millipedes. The millipedes have made babies. They made it and made babies. I remember when they made it, they made it right here in this area. It was about two weeks ago. No, actually it was longer. It was a little, little while longer than that. But the crazy thing is, I remember. I really remember they was right here in this area. They were right here in this area and they were mating. Mm. Crazy part is I didn't see no eggs, but now I'm starting to see baby centipedes. Hold on, let me. I mean, let me go back a little bit. Get the zoom. Get the zoom correct. Get the zoom, and there we go. There we go. Baby centipede millipedes. This is a great example. Look at that. There's two of them. I'm sorry, y'all. There we go. Good. You see the legs? It's a baby. This is what millipedes look like when they're babies. I got to keep nets out of here because nets are drawn to all of the stuff that's going on inside of this habitat. Insects draw other insects because they use pheromones. And the pheromones always attract other insects, you know what I'm saying? Yes, this is a baby millipede and it's try, I guess it's trying to drill its way into the moss, it's in the moss. Let me back up some so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's in the moss. This is the moss area, and this is Habitat 2, okay? Habitat 2 has a lot of surprises, a lot of surprises. And it's crazy because when I started, I had no idea that I would be recording Millipede babies. I thought it was, I'm not going, when I was looking, I was just watching, right? I said, it must be a maggot. That's, that's a maggot. But then I started noticing they had those little antennae. That's what gave it away. See that? See those antennae? Now, I'm guessing that these are the ones that we can see. So there must be millipedes out there that you can't see. And I'm going to look for all of them. All of them. Yep, centipede. I mean, really, please. Lord, I can't. I can't stop saying millipede. I can't stop saying centipede. They are millipedes, okay? Millipede babies. That's what they are. And as soon as I get the focus right, there we go. Get the focus right on there just a little bit better, and I'll be able to go in.
But what I wanted to tell y'all was I think some type of larvae for a flying insect was in here because I keep seeing something flying in habitat number two. It's flying on the inside. When I opened it up, one actually flew out. I don't know if I killed it. I tried to kill it because I didn't know what it was. But uh, that I can't have because I can't have control. I can't have control over the insect when they fly. Yeah, this is the millipedes baby. And I'm thinking that it's less than a week old. And you can tell because it has the same features as a millipede. And it looks like it's learning how to crawl. And it's a baby. You can tell you can tell that it's freshly born. You can tell. And it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Here's a good time to talk about the substrate that I use for this particular habitat. What you see is sand. It's just a dollar. It's different sands. It's red sand, it's green sand, and it's also sand that I got from outside that I actually just used. You know what I'm saying? I didn't cook it, boil it. It was just that, you know how you be walking down the street and you see a bunch of sand like between the curb and the street itself, just gravel from the, the bottoms of cars and stuff? That is actually a good substrate if you don't know how to you know, sanitize and eliminate creatures because those little pieces of gravel, they've been through so much and tossed and turned so much that it's probably very little big creatures in it. And this is proof because when I put it in here, I, and I use the substrate at the bottom. Then I put my red and green substrate on top of it. It's red in the front and green on the side. If you can get to the side, okay? I'm gonna try to get to this side, but this light doesn't work. Let me see, we got, uh, that's the glass. All that condensation is what makes it hard for me to show you. But on this side, it's green. And also, on this side, it's green. You see it? That's the green substrate, see that? And what you see crawling in the substrate are mites. Those are mites, you know, decomposing mites. This actually could be, let me look at it a little bit better. Yeah, that's a mite. Mites look just like pill bugs when they're babies. If you don't get a good look at the head, you'll never be able to tell. Now this right here, I believe is another, um, yeah, it's the head of a millipede. So I got it right this time. That's the head of a millipede and this is the head of a millipede. I swear to y'all, man, when I, a few, I think about a month ago, I saw two large millipedes right here in this area, right here where we are right now. And they were connecting together. I don't know what they were doing at the time. I said, oh, they must be mating because they stuck together. And that's what they were doing. They were mating. And this is the proof. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Okay, um, I'm trying to figure out what this is right here. I'm beginning to think that it is a net because of the way it's moving. I think it's a net. It's a net. See, now that type of stuff we have to avoid. We got to avoid this because what that net is going to do is cause issues. Yep, that's what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do to eliminate those nets because anything that'll kill them will also kill all of the animals that are inside. What I'm gonna have to do is take away their main food source.
That's crazy. What we have here is a beautiful pill bug, isopod. This is a baby. This is what baby pill bugs, roly polies, whatever you want to call them, this is what they look like when they're babies. And I got a plethora of them in all three habitats. Well, actually, um, the loft is not technically a habitat. The only one that I don't have pill bugs in is Habitat 3. I actually saw a dead pill bug in Habitat 3, and I think it's because it's so dry in there. I don't, they really didn't take to Habitat 3 too well. Like real talk, that just, for some reason, for some reason it just didn't work out, but I'm happy. I'm happy still. All right, y'all, this is just an update to let y'all know what's going on in Habitats. Two. All right. You have a great day. Aboriginal nature boy out.